Hello everyone, I'm Jerry from PyTorch Architectural Optimization Team. Today I'm going to talk about composition in PyTorch 2.0 export path. First, I'm going to give an overview of PyTorch composition. What are the existing composition tools in PyTorch? And what are their main advantages and limitations? Then I'm going to talk about our plans for how condition should fit into the PyTorch 2.0 export stack and how modeling developers and backend developers interact with this flow. Currently, uh, PyTorch offers two condition flow tools, eager mode condition and FX graph mode condition. Eager mode condition is implemented through module swapping and it doesn't require a graph representation of the model. So it has no restriction on the model to be quantized, but it requ requires users to manually modify the model and to reason about the details of the condition process. FX graph mode condition is implemented through automatically transforming the model graphs based on configurations. But since it uses TorchFX symbolic tracing to capture the PyTorch program, only the models that can be symbolically traced are supported. For example, models with data-dependent control flows are not supported by this tool. Now I'll introduce our plans for condition in PyTorch 2.0 export path. The main advantages of condition in PyTorch 2.0 export stack is it relies on Torch Dynamo for program capture, which is expected to have a higher model coverage compared to FX symbolic tracing. For example, it supports uh, control flows. Secondly, uh, with Torch Dynamo, we have more information such as tensor D type for each node in the model graph, which allows us to build a more robust condition transform. Overall, condition will seamlessly integrate with the rest of the PyTorch 2.0 export stack, and it will provide an easily configurable API to get the right trade-off between performance and accuracy and it will be fully extensible to custom backends since we make all backend related information configurable by users. Here's a graph that shows the model preparation stage of the PyTorch 2.0 export stack. The Eagle Mode PyTorch model will be captured as a graph with A10 operators. Condition will take this graph as input and produce a reference quantized model, which represents quantized computation in a backend agnostic way. Then the reference quantized model is lowered through delegation to run in a separate runtime or through condition fusion to a quantized operator library. Here is the example code for the flow. As we can see, we have program capture, condition, and lowering as three main stages in this flow. Modeling developers can configure how they want to quantize the model by specifying condition configurations based on operator type or module names. For example, quantize all linear modules with int8 static quantization. The flow is also extensible to new backends that support quantized inference. The main steps are first, define a backend config to specify the supported type of quantization for operators or operator patterns. Then implement quantized operators through delegation or a quantized operator library, depending on the specific use case. Finally, implement lowering passes to convert the reference quantized patterns to the delegated quantized module or quantized operators. For the timeline, we'll have an early prototype available in PyTorch master by the end of 2022, and we'll have a prototype release for this feature by the end of H1 2023. We are looking forward for your feedbacks in GitHub or PyTorch discussion forums, and thanks for your attention.